Oh. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tim Zabriskie here. Back at it again with the brand new vid. Oh, man. I totally forgot to set up the lights. But that's okay. I guess we could do it right now. I mean, why not, right? Here, here we are. Turn on the lights a little bit. You gotta, you see how much of a difference it makes? You see how much work I put in to put on this show? For all of you. Uh, uh, well, anyway, we got a great show for you today. LA is, uh, she's doing a little traveling right now, so she's not gonna be joining us. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have Mike the Chef, who currently is climbing, or he's hiking a mountain right now. I don't even know what mountain he's on or anything like that. But he's gonna, I'm gonna call him right now. He's gonna do sports. But before we do any of that, I did want to say that um, yesterday we had the WWE 2K18 tournament, Capital District style, down in Rensselaer, down at Heroes Hideout. It was a great turnout. We got about like 35 to 40 people within 45 minutes because we had the two different systems. It really broke down. Turned out to be me, Miles, this guy Anthony. And his other buddy, I can't remember what his name is. I'm sorry, bud. But it just became crazy. There's a video down below where you can see it. You can also uh, you can also check it out on the YouTube page. YouTube.com slash TimmyZ4674. Um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page. It was awesome. I was very happy because I was the winner, <laughs> it turned out. The best part is, is you got to watch the show. You got to watch how it actually ended because it was insane. The AI in the video game, the artificial intelligence, if you don't know what that means, basically the computer basically just took over and, and knocked out my little brother, had me win, then came down and took me out. It was insane. So Triple H... You're next, buddy. I'm coming to get you. Don't you worry. I, and any sort of gameplay I do on that game, I, I live stream it to my YouTube page. So that's YouTube.com slash TimmyZ4674. All right, let's, uh, let's try to get Mike the Chef on. Call Mike the Chef. Calling Mike the Chef Mulholland. Yeah. Got to call that kid because he's, he's a nut. Who knows? Who even knows what he's freaking doing right now? Apparently, he's climbing out. He he says he he says he doesn't know any sports, but he says that he'll do it. So we'll uh we'll we'll see what he has to say. Hey, hey, motherfucker! Oh, you dirty dog! What are you doing? Dude, I'm on top of a mountain. Yo, what mountain are we on top of right now? You're on the show, by the way. Nice, dude. I'm on top of Mount Peaked in uh in Munson. Oh, okay. What, what are you doing up there? It's freaking cold outside right now, bro. Dude, I'm like surviving the elements, bro. I already ate a rock. You, you already what? I ate a rock. You ate a rock? Dude, how you get, that thing's going to hurt coming out the other end, you know? Uh, yeah, that's what city people think. Oh, okay. All right. So you got any sports for us? What do you, what do you got for us? All right, dude. So here's the lineup. Tom Brady made like... Six fucking dunk three pointers, and then he rushed the ball from <laughs> the backcourt. Then you got, uh, let's say, Dwayne Johnson yeah? with the most touchdowns of the league. You know, that's funny. He used to actually play football. I, I, I don't know a lot of sports, but he used to play football for, uh, yeah, dude. for Miami. I know. And, uh, and then I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> Yo, it's all right. I mean, you know, just keep 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 doing what you're doing. So Tom Brady, he he got a bunch of uh, uh, dunks, right? Yeah, dude, and, and Cam Newton uh, broke his rib cage on a fucking halfway kick on the soccer field. <laughs> oh no! How, how far did he wind up kicking the ball? I don't know, like seven thousand yards. Oh yeah, that's like uh, I don't even know how many how many how many cars is seven thousand yards, bud. I don't know, bro, but he hit it right the stitches. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so, so uh, here, all right. Here's here's my question for you. All right, so the topic and of today. Christian Ronaldo made about uh, he hit about five home runs last uh, last game. Last oh. Basketball game. Oh, okay. All right. So here's the thing. So on today's show, right? 
What we're doing is we're talking about coworker confessions. Now, I don't want you to kind of talk about your current position because, you know, I, I don't want you getting in any sort of trouble or anything like that, right? But. Oh, hell no. But for where you used to work in the past, what was the name of the person that you did not like? Oh, dude, I used to paint. I actually loved everybody I worked with. Okay. Well, I only worked with uh, John and, and, and Bobby Bones. Bobby Bones. I call him Bazooka Booty Bob. Tell us, a little bit about, tell us a little bit about Bobby Bones. Why was he so well, I cool? I call him Joe Maddox. Dude, he's the funniest fucking guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> this dude is a strung out, like, lead singer of, like, a bunch of bands. Right, right, right. He's good, actually. So, uh, all right, so was there any sort of customers or anything like that that you didn't really like? Like, let it out, you know? Like, this is this is oh, supposed dude, to be therapeutic. Right now, doing residential, you'd be surprised how some people live. There was this one guy, what the hell was his name? Tom Bamford, dude. This fucking nasty son of a bitch. <laughs> this house smelled like shit, and there was blood everywhere, dude. And there was holes in the wall. There was definitely a troubled home, but this dude ate meat like it was going out of style, man. <laughs> My boss bought a full onesie, like, hazmat suit and, like, two gallons of bleach just to paint the inside of the bathroom because they uh. poured it on the floor because that's how gross the floor was. Oh, that's and the nasty. Guy goes, the guy leaves, like, hunks of, like, ground-up beef in his warm kitchen. <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. Dude, you that had to sounds wash disgusting. The walls before you paint them, because there was so much food on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that's was. that's freaking gross. All right, well, what? How long are you staying on this mountain for? Is it cold up there? Are there any animals? Uh, no animals except for myself. <laughs> You're by yourself. No, dude, I'm here with uh, I'm here with uh, Katie, Jeremy, and Ian. Oh, what's up, guys? Shout out to Katie, Jeremy, and Ian. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, we're getting some fucking quad force shit going here. Because you could leave a Power Rangers. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, say, hi to, say hi to Zordon for me. <laughs> what's up? I said say hi to Zordon for me. Yo, dude, I did. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, la ladies and gentlemen, that was Mike the Chef. We're... Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna let you go, all right, Mikey. All right, bro. Thanks for calling. Always uh, a pleasure. All keep right. It stiff, baby. Yeah, keep it keep it stiff. Fucking <laughs> three thumbs up. Three <laughs> thumbs up, baby. All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Peace. All right. So that was Mike the Chef. So basically, for the show today, guys, the big thing that we're that we're looking to do. Hashtag coworker confession. So if there's anybody that you want to talk about that you that you currently work with, that you that you used to work with, anybody that you know really used to grind your gears, salt you up, give us a call. 518-350-4312. And uh yeah, what we'll do is uh we'll talk about it. How about that? So I'm gonna take a quick little break and we'll be Right Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Collar and Elbow Brand.com is a proud sponsor of the Tim Zabriskie Show. Use promo code TimZ Show for 10% off of any and all purchases. Once again, that is collar and elbow brand.com. All right, so it looks like the phones are already starting to ring. This is awesome. Hi, caller. You're on the air. How you doing? Uh -huh. Am I speaking to Tim Zabriskie? Yeah, you're on the Tim Zabriskie show. How are you? Oh, my God. Long time listener. First time caller. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. So what is your name? Where are you from? My name is Sarah Jean, and I moved to Albany about six weeks ago. Oh, that's awesome. Where would you move here from? 
Mississippi. Oh my gosh! Well, welcome. What do you think of Albany so far? Is it is it very different from Mississippi? It's a little snotty, but I like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome! So so tell us uh, what if you don't have to mention the company, but what kind of place is it that you're working at right now? Well, I'm in hospitality. Okay, hospitality, fantastic. Are you a server? No, actually, I'm in housekeeping. You're in housekeeping. Oh, okay. For, so, do you work? Uh, do you work in residential? Do you work in hotel? Let the people know. Well, I, the people need to know that I um, I, I'm scared because I don't want to get fired. Because then I have to go down to Mississippi and live with my grandmother who speaks stank. Okay. All right. So don't uh don't don't talk about you know exactly where you work for, but tell us uh. Tell us one of the co-workers that, that you don't like. Okay. There's this one woman okay. who's really annoying to me because, well, she gets all the prizes and awards when I know for a fact that she will sneak into an occupied room with somebody who may be half asleep and pretend that she knew no one was in there while she goes through their Stuff. Oh, no way. She's going through through their stuff? She goes through their stuff when they leave and when they're there. Oh, how did, how did, that's that's insane. Now, now she, she's just jacking as much as she can? Is that what she's trying to do? Um, you know, it's kind of like a forensic style episode. She takes weird stuff. Like what? Like she takes bottle tops. What? She laces. What? Just something to say that she was there. So she's taking her to feel the rain. Wait, so she's taking shoelaces of of like shoes that are like they're using, or is it like old shoes that are like in the closet? No, no, I'm in hospitality. Everything's new. People come in, they stay at night, two nights, <laughs> they leave Albany. International flight right across the country, California. Oh my God, that's that's insane. What? How long has that person been at the company? Has she been there longer than you, or she been there, is she kind of new? No, we were both hired on the same day about six weeks ago. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. So uh, are you going to confront this person? What, like, have you, have you, are you going to tell management? What, what is it that you're thinking about doing? Well, the thing that made me want to make this phone call to y'all is because she just got the Compassionate Cheerful Award. Now, I just find it hypocritical that she would get an award about comparison when she's a no good thief. Oh, my gosh. That that sucks that that's going on in a hospitality place right here in the capital region. And that, that you know, there's and since you're new at the job, there's really just nothing that you can do about it. Well, the thing is, I break my hump. I mean, I go the extra mile. Uh-huh. You know none of them girls wash the sheets or pillowcases. No. But I would at least pretend I did and make <laughs> it look and smell good. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. So they don't, you get, they don't wash the sheets or anything? They don't replace them or anything? No, we use a strike. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, why? Why don't you? Don't you, I thought Southern hospitality is, you know, so that you you would be actually like cleaning the stuff. But no, I guess, I, I guess they're not paying you that much, huh? Oh, pittance, really. But compared to where I come from, I'm happy to find the work. Oh. But I want to tell you, I think you're doing a fine job. I I really do. I've seen everything you've ever done since you were ever alive. Now, oh, I think that... I can fix you up with somebody. Oh, I you do? I got somebody in mind for you. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> uh, she's a little old, and she's got one leg, and we do call her Peggy, but that's just an old girl. <laughs> oh, family. that's not very that's nice. You didn't, know you didn't call anybody Peggy, but but it's okay. I mean, you know, there's somebody out there for Peggy. I'm a, I'm a very happily uh, date. I don't know. I'm not married, so I'm happily related guy or relationship. I don't. I, I don't know the terminology, but but 
But um, thank you so much. Well, you're successfully connected to another person. I, you know, it's, success is varied, but but you know, yeah, it's going very well. <laughs> thank you very much. But uh, um, well, but... I thank you, Tommy Timothy Zabriskie, and I wish you nothing but good luck. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Um, uh, well, I hope. Now, you... should I kill this bitch? <laughs> no, 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 no! You definitely should not kill anybody, especially if you're calling in to complain about them uh, on the Tim Zabriskie show. But uh, thank you so much for calling in, and uh, we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll have to do it again sometime, okay? <laughs> you take care now, y'all. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. So that was nuts. Um, So if you, you know, you're staying in any of the hotels, I don't know what company th this woman works for or anything like that, but uh, but uh, apparently they don't clean the shit. But back to what we're doing today, we are looking at co-worker confessions. So if there's anybody that that, you know, you don't really like, and at work or anything like that, definitely give us a call. So the number here is 518-350-4312. Um, it does look like, I don't know, I think I think we might be getting another phone call right now. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm starting to get a, the comments and, and an email. It's looking like, like we may be getting another call. Oh my gosh, we we got one right now. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, this is uh, um, a. I just got a couple of uh, confessions to make about my coworkers. Oh, okay. It's, um, yeah. What what do you, what do you got? What's going on? Oh my god, where do I start? In um. You know those coworkers who you see in the bathroom and you at the urinal, you're taking a piss, but they feel the need to like uh, want to talk to you or something. And it's just like, can you just shut the hell up and let a man pee? Like, what? Oh. what, what like, what, what, what's the what's the issue behind that? I, I I don't know. Do you not get enough loving at home? Or do you, or do you not have enough excitement in your life or something? Like, come on, that's violation. Wait, all right. So let's start over. So this is a guy that that's doing this, or is this a girl? This is a guy that does this. I mean, I'm the, no. I mean, when I saw that they were, you were taking coworker confessions, I mean, I figured I'd just go down a laundry list of various offenders on what, my dossier of coworkers. I just can't stand. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so where 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 are you from, sir? What is your name? Let's start off with that. I, I said my name is Leon. Rayon, okay. So Rayon, where where no, is no, it? No, 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 Leon. Leon. Like it's Rayon. Oh. Leon. I'm sorry, Leon. Where is it that you're from? Where I am I from? I'm from the South. You can't tell by my accent. Okay, so the lady that just called from Mississippi. Are you close to Mississippi? Where is it that you're located? All right, we might, well, we might as well just say Jacksonville. So, you know, I'm from one of those. Backwater uh, towns or whatever. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess we'll give it a bait. Now, what kind, what kind of industry do you work in? Or if you want to tell us exactly where you work, since you're so far away, I don't think I have a very strong a fan base in Jacksonville yet. But Yeah, well, I do telemarketing or whatnot, so I'm on the phone from, like, 9 to 5, and I get my little breaks in between to, like, use the bathroom, stock up on some food or whatnot, and, like, okay. whatever, just a couple of dirt. Or whatever. Okay, yeah, you you definitely have a fantastic uh, singing voice, so I can definitely hear you working the phones on a regular basis. So, so tell us, Leon. Singing voice. Oh my god. <laughs> All I want. All right, all right, all right. We're, okay. We're not I'm doing sorry, karaoke. Sorry. So, all right. So, tell us about this gentleman. Uh, what is this that gentleman's is, that name? Broadway caliber. Don't even reduce it to karaoke. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. Offend you or anything like that but um so okay. so basically tell us about this guy and and what is it that that he does he 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 looks at your johnson is that what you said something like that how can i say i don't i don't know you sound like one of those northerners so how, how can i explain we'll call it we call it urinal encroachment okay urinal encroachment yes it's like when you see a man peeing, just don't talk to the man. Like, let me just pee in peace, and then you can talk to me. Or if you see me in 
Or if you see me in the lube and you see, I'm ble- well, what I do- see me doing what I like to do, which is called blessing the White House or taking my masterpiece or whatnot or making a deposit. Oh, okay. the- yep, yep, we got it. So, so, so yes. how many, how many yes. urinals are there? Because I kind of see where you're going with this. So how many urinals are there? Are there three urinals? Are there four? We got like about five urinals and about three stalls. Okay. Okay, so there's about five urinals and three stalls, and you're probably using the one that's over in the corner, correct? And then and then there's multiple stalls that are available, and this guy comes over and, and goes right next to you. Is that correct? Yeah, he, he does that, and it, 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 it just bothers me. It's like he has no home training or whatever the case may be. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I freaking hate that. I hate when, like, I understand that there's two stalls that are right next to each other, or two urinals that are right next to each other, but but if there's, like, you know, you got to have a little grace period. Like, let me do my business, you know what I mean? I totally understand where you're coming from. So this one guy comes over, and he's just right next to you every single time? I, 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 I don't know. It's like a, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like we're operating on the same ridiculous wavelength or something like that or yeah it's 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 ridiculous it's like he comes over like every time i'm in the bathroom and then what he likes to do and then what he does one time which really got me upset and almost created an hr nightmare oh no he spread his legs oh oh so then he spread it let me guess he spread his legs you're over in the corner you're doing your own thing and his foot's like rubbing up against your foot yeah. Oh my God! What a jerk this guy is. That's what it sounds like I to me. I almost smacked him. Oh, I, I smacked him, but I just I remember I have to I have a bunch of I have like a I have my own trail of kids to take care of and whatnot, so I can't be uh, reduced to said uh, fisticuffs or laying hands uh, on people, putting yeah. paws on them like we call it. Oh man, I don't I don't I don't blame you. I mean, it it totally makes sense to me why that why that freaking aggravated you and stuff like that. Uh, all right, Leon. Well, thank you so much for calling in, and um, you know, good luck with that guy. I don't know. I don't have any real advice for what you should do, but I think that you should say, at least, be gentle about it and be like, "Hey, can you can you move away?" Hey, like, hey, you want what I do to take care to remedy that situation? Uh huh. I add a little special recipe to the uh, company coffee pot to oh. get my drift. No, I don't catch your drift. Tell us, <laughs> tell us what you what you're doing here, Leon. <laughs> Well, we I can't go into further details, but let's just say it's not tea, but it runs with tea. Oh, Leon. All right, I got to let you go. <laughs> thanks for calling in, and uh, uh, thanks. Thank you. All right, so to let everybody know what it is that we're doing here today, today we're doing co-worker confessions. So if there's anybody at work that you're that's really salting you up and um, – and, you know, it really aggravates you the most. Give us a call, 518-350-4312. It's, uh, it's it, I don't know. So far, we've had a woman call in that said that she, she uh, you know, she, th- somebody at work has been stealing. We got this guy named Leon who's, who's being encroached by the toilet. It's, it's definitely been... Um, really nuts. And it looks like we got another caller. <laughs> no way. Three callers in a row. Hello. Hi. How, how, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? What's your name? Hi, this is Julie. Hi, Julie. Uh, welcome to the Tim Zabriskie Show. So do you have a, uh, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, from Brooklyn? Oh, Garrison, no. Garrison Beach. Oh, no way. All right. You, I used to live in Flatbush. What's up, girl? Yeah, what? I said I used to live in Flatbush. What's up, girl? Yeah, I, I called in to talk some shit about my coworkers. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing today. I'm glad that, that you're calling in. So, Julie, um, what is it that you do for a living? Um, I'm a supervisor at a supermarket. So, like, you know, I help with... Uh, I basically watch over the cashiers and help the managers with whatever they need help with. Okay, very cool. So how long have you been there for? Um, like three years. Oh, that's awesome. So um, tell us a little bit more about, you know, is this somebody that works under you? 
I mean, like I'm based, I'm in charge of all the cashiers, so I, I usually have to like deal with their stupid questions. They honestly, none of them have any common sense, so it's like they all need help with something. Like every time I show up, I feel like I'm babysitting. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, so tell us about the one person that's really, really been pissing you off. All right. Well, I definitely know exactly who has been pissing me off a lot. It's one of my managers. Okay. Um, name. Actually, I don't know if I should tell you what his name is. No, tell us. Tell yeah. us what. I bet you he doesn't even watch the show. So you know, let it out, girl. You gotta let it out. Uh, yeah. His name is Sal, okay. and he's very super sexist. He's always being uh, insensitive. He doesn't want to hear anybody's problems. So, like the other day, I told him I was starting the keto diet. You know, it's like a low-carb diet, and his response was, oh, well, you know, don't lose too much weight. You don't, you won't have anything left to fill your shirt. Oh, what like, a dick. What? Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, apparently he tells his wife, like, every day that she's obese just for fun. Like, that's what I heard. Oh, my God. Tells what? her, you're obese. And she's not even obese. She's very pretty, actually. It's just a dick. Oh my God! That that and someone recently told him. Actually, not recently, like a couple weeks ago. Someone I work with told him I like to go out on the weekends and you know drink and have a good time. So now he just always assumes that when I'm there that I'm drunk. He's like, "Oh, what are you drunk again? You better stay away from the beer section. You're gonna get too excited." And I'm always like, "Just shut up, Sal. Like you're so annoying." <laughs> Oh man, what a what a jerk! Like, how old yeah. is this guy? Is this like a, a really old guy? Is he just is it or is it one no, of those situations? Really old, actually, he's uh, like in his forties, I would say, like early forties. Okay, so he definitely uh, definitely knows better, and in this time time frame of like you know political correctness I mean, I've never and things had like that. With him. He's usually cool, but like lately his jokes have just been like really annoying. Like even today, like I was hungover because I had an event last night. So what kind, there, what, what kind know, of event? Oh, uh, it was one of my friend's baby showers. It was like a late, a late night baby shower. It was like a little different than usual. Okay. Tip not your typical baby shower. Like it was men and women there. You know, we're all partying. Oh, it was a, it was a, uh, a co mingle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I, I was like hung over today. I was like, you know, trying to still like do my job, whatever. But I was like feeling a little nauseous, like because I was like overwhelmed because all the cashiers are annoying, the managers are annoying. I was like. You know what, Sal, I think I'm just going to throw up, and then I can go home, right? If I throw up, I don't feel well. And honestly, if I do go home, like, they would be fucked. Like, it was, like, really busy and whatever. So he's like, no, no, just go downstairs to the bathroom, stick your finger down your throat, and you'll feel better. You're not going home. And I was like, are you kidding me? You just told me to stick my finger down my throat. Like, what's wrong with you? Uh, first. All right, well, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to be a little, uh, be a little frank here, and I'm gonna say that maybe he's not that much of a douche. Maybe, maybe it's you a little bit there, Jules. Because what it sounds, because what, what it sounds to me is that you know, like, uh, like, just because you you know you like to go out and stuff like that, and if you're purposely trying to you know throw up so that so that you know you can, can you can go home and stuff like that, like that's not a good employee if it's if you ask me. <laughs> I mean. If I have to be there every Sunday morning, <laughs> yeah. Obviously, sometimes I'm gonna have things to do on a Saturday night. Julie, how old are you? Twenty-five. You're twenty-five years old. All right. If if I was talking to a girl right now that was twenty-one, I would be like, yeah, okay, you know, I get it. But at twenty-five, it's like you're starting to enter the lit, the latter parts of your of your your twenties. So, so you know, I think that uh. And if you're in a, a a supervisor, like a manager, managerial position, maybe uh, maybe maybe you should cut the guy a little bit of slack. You know, if he entrusts you like this, I mean, I mean, granted, he definitely does say some sexist things, but at the same time, like uh, if if he if you he has a reputation for you, like like is what you're saying is like a girl that parties and stuff like that. I I would be in the position that maybe I would want to prove him wrong. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from, but I mean, I was just kidding about the whole throwing up thing. I was just saying it to be a dick, just because he's a dick. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you were trying to out dick him, is what you were trying to do? Yeah, I'm trying to like out dick him lately, like just be like, you know what, you're a dick, so I'm gonna be a dick. Yeah, that's 
that, that's always good. But um, but yeah, is there anybody at work? I, I know that you 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 must deal with a lot of uh. What about what about customers? Do you have any customers that, that like regulars that you see on a regular basis that are that are you know kind of dicks? <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. Like every day, like someone's gonna be like, "I'm never gonna shop here again." And it's like, give, um, a, give yes me, you are. Give me a reason why somebody would say that they're not gonna shop at your supermarket. There's like there were these like pies that were on sale, like apple pie, but only the apple pie was on sale. The sign says only apple pie is on sale this week, and because there were other pies on the table. Where they were, we were selling the apple pies. This lady like came over to me and was like, "Uh, I don't understand why this is gonna be five ninety nine when you have a sign right here. It's three ninety nine. And I was like, "It says it's only the apple pie. Like only the apple pie is on sale, but like that's the pie table." Yeah, it's and like, was, lady, learn how to freaking read. Only... Yeah, I was like, they don't know how to read. No one knows how to read. It's crazy. And she was like. Well, you know what? That's just ridiculous. Why would you put other t- pies on that damn table? Who do I have to talk to about this? I'm never going to shop here again. I was like, You're like I'm, right, I'm here right here. Again. You can't read a sign? Like, okay, then don't shop here. Like, we don't need you here. You're nasty. Like, go away. <laughs> yeah, it's I would like, love it if you stopped shopping here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, lady, I'm right I'm right freaking here. I'm, I'm the supervisor. Like, yeah. you, you, you can't freaking read. All right, Julie. Well, you know, thanks for calling in. Uh, I'm sorry that you and that guy aren't getting along, but you know, I, I don't know. I, okay, I, I, he doesn't I, get along with a lot of people, so. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe just put in like a harassment suit against him or something, and then you know, maybe you'll maybe <laughs> maybe you'll have his job. I, I don't. I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. I'll consider the advice. All right, sounds good. All right, Julie, we'll we'll talk to you soon. How about that? Okay. Thanks great. for calling in. All right, bye-bye. bye bye. All right, so. Um, that was our third caller. Uh, I'm actually really surprised with the turnout of this. So, so once again, we're doing coworker confessions. So, if there's anybody at work that really aggravates you and you want to call in, this is the fi- the last call for it. So, five one eight three five zero four three one two. Um, I th- I think in in a lot of the different jobs I've had, I uh, you know, I've had definitely had some places where where my paycheck has bounced um that was really aggravating uh i definitely had some people that that acted like managers that weren't managers and and uh yeah i I, and i definitely think i've uh definitely had a bunch of promiscuous people that that you know caused issues and things like that but basically like i don't know you know like like there's not anybody that I that I work with that I was like, oh god, I just hate your existence. Actually, actually that's that's that may or may not be accurate. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give it another minute. If there's anybody that has a coworker that they want to talk about, please call the number down below five one eight three five zero four three one two. Um, we'll be able to talk about it. But if not. I think we might end up calling it. So, so yeah, make sure you like my page, like this video, share it. Definitely check out my YouTube page. That's where I do most of my other videos. I started to do some reviews. Like I, I won this camera at, at work the other day, um, the Crosstor 4K Wi-Fi camera. And if you go to my YouTube page, www.youtube.com, slash Timmy Z four six seven four. You can see the full review I did on it. I actually like this camera a lot and there's certain things I don't like about it, so you definitely be able to check that out. But um I think uh I think we're gonna call it. So thank you so much for, for watching the show and uh we'll do it again next week. Catch me outside. How about that? It didn't freeze. I uh, <laughs> was looking for something, but I. Uh... All right, we'll do it again, for real. Cash me outside. How about that?